hi guys welcome to jd's kitchen and thank you guys so much for stopping by in our last video i shared with you guys how i seasoned my fish using just five very common ingredients from my kitchen today i'm going to share with you guys how to fry fish and avoid splashes all over your kitchen it's very common that when you're frying fish after you're done you have to clean up the gas you have to clean up the floor you have to even your body is going to be probably splashed with oil okay so i took you guys back to the time before i seasoned my fish you could see me using a paper napkin to wipe the fish and to press it and ensure that all the water is sucked out of the fish after doing that i would go ahead to season my fish i already showed you guys how i seasoned my fish in the last video if you didn't watch it please go ahead and check it it was delicious i go ahead to take out the eyes of the fish now you can either take out the eye completely or you can poke the eye and ensure that all the water from the eye comes out because that's one of the things that causes a lot of splashing in fact the main thing is the water in the fish that because when it goes and meets with hot oil it reacts and then it starts splashing everywhere so after coating lightly coating the fish with flour after ensuring there's no water you go ahead and dab the fish on flour before you start frying okay you don't want to overcoat it as if you're making egg rolls or something no just lightly coat it on flour you don't want to put a lot of flour on your plate because you end up wasting the flour you can see that as i am frying the fish my hand is really close to the pan on a normal day i will stand in tico and i will be dropping my fish in the oil in linde because i don't want to get burnt but you can see that there are no splashes it is not there's nothing flying out of the frying pan and the oil is really hot you can tell that the oil is hot from the way the fish is frying now the fish also one of the benefits of the flour the coating is that it has this very nice beautiful brown finishing i want to ask you guys when you fry your fish do you do what i'm doing now so when i'm frying like the head or the middle part of my fish i always turn it i turn it um sideways and ensure that the other sides as well are frying i don't know maybe because i like my fish to be extra crunchy but i do that sometimes okay anyways we have come to the end of this video if every time you fry your fish you have to you have to clean everywhere you have to be running away from the frying pan um you can do this method with this method you have very little or no splashes you guys i just dropped the head into the oil and i did not stand in tico and drop it in limbe i am close and you can see that i am not having any massive splashes coming back um I think that you've gotten the point from this video your next time you're frying fish don't allow it burn you and stain your entire kitchen thank you guys for watching this video i will see you guys on my next one please subscribe to the channel share this um, video with your friends share my channel as a whole i have really amazing recipes here for you um if there's a suggestion you have for me please leave it in the comment section and i will see you guys on my next video bye In the next video i will share with you guys how i make my delicious fish stew as you can see the ingredients are already set on the table watch out for the next one